Are you guys rich? Oh, very rich. We are very we are rich, rich in, in love. In love and happiness. Yeah. This is part of the process, the series that shows us how sustainable fashion is made from the plantation to sustainable viscose rayon to fashion. Now that you've been up to date with things, what's next, you ask? Well, in short, the phrase boys and their toys come to mind. We are back on the plantation, back in our uniforms, and we're about to see just how technology helps to manage and monitor these forests. This is Rifki, and he's a remote sensing analyst. Still none the wiser? Well, that makes two of us. But we're intrigued to find out more. Nah, jadi kita biasanya di sini melakukan plantation monitoring. Nah, plantation monitoring ini agak beda sedikit karena kita uh, menggunakan drone. Nah, di sini tentunya kita menggunakan drone untuk mencakup area yang lebih luas. Nah, seperti kakak lihat juga di sini kan sini sangat lebat. Agak susah juga kita untuk masuk ke dalam hutan. Nah, menggunakan drone ini kan dia bisa lebih uh, jauh karena kita bisa terbang dari titik misalkan di jalan terus dia bisa masuk ke dalam. Karena drone juga kita bisa save fotonya kan kan. Nah, kita bisa lebih banyak analisis di kantor kayak gitu. Kalau ngomong soal kebakaran nih, bagaimana drone membantu untuk pencegahan kebakaran? Yang pertama Kak, tentunya uh, kita dengan menggunakan drone kan kita bisa mendapatkan ketinggian. Maksudnya bisa melihat dari daerah yang lebih tinggi. Tentunya itu akan sangat cocok untuk mengetahui titik api. Dan terus drone kita juga dilengkapi dengan sensor-sensor. Dan sensor tersebut biasanya kita uh, sebut kita bisa melihat sesuatu yang bisa kita lihat karena kita menggunakan inframerah di situ nah, seperti itu jadi lebih mudah untuk mendeteksi titik apinya gitu eh pengen lihat dong caranya gimana boleh nggak boleh kak yuk tetang yo wow we would have liked to have had a go but we feared for the life of the drone not sure our flying skills are there yet biasa <laughs> sih our next subject may not be part of the viscos rayon making process. However, it plays an important role in today's world. It's conservation. This is Brad Sanders, and he leads a set of huge conservation projects, some of the biggest in this part of the world. In total, we've managed over 800,000 hectares, about 50% wow. of it is set up in our fiber plantations, our production areas, and another 43% we conserve. So this is our effort to try to have a balanced portfolio of protection areas and production areas. Great, and also can you tell us a little bit more of how your role here connects to the fashion industry? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's very important that we convey to our customers that we have this balanced portfolio. We believe yes. this is important to them. Yeah. And we want to make sure that we can become a supplier of choice to mm -hmm. them. And we want to be the sustainable and responsible manager for that. Okay, thank you, Brad. Thank you. you. Yeah. Thanks. Can fashion be more sustainable? Oh, there are so many ways it can. Here are five examples in the Rahajang Sisters Guide to how your fashion habits can help save the planet. One, buy less, wear more. The most sustainable item of clothing is the one you already own. Two, consider what you buy. Read the labels. Is the fiber made from natural materials, like viscose fiber? Three, recycle and repurpose. Keep your clothes away from landfills. Better yet, donate. Wash your clothes less, or when you do, wash in cooler temperatures. This will save energy. Five, buy better quality. If you do, it'll last longer. Therefore, you'll buy less and make a difference. While we're on the subject, we're about to meet a woman who is making great strides in the world of sustainability. But we didn't expect to be meeting here. I'm gonna promise to myself five things that I can do to save my world, just five. What does it mean to say reduce? Yes. Like take away half the trash in the 
Yes, correct. This is reusing because this bottle, every day you fill it up with fresh water, so you are reusing this. It's not something that you only buy and use once. You know what, this is actually exactly where it should start. We have an obligation to teach them things that would influence their future. Um, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Children, they are the future leaders, future educators, policy makers. One of these kids could be the next president of this very country. They are the future. Absolutely. Everything starts here. Absolutely. You know, when, when people kind of say that, you know, all of a sudden everyone is talking about sustainability, my heart goes like, it's about time. <laughs> Yeah. Why only now? Why not 10 years ago? Why not a generation ago? Exactly. <laughs> this is really, it's one of the most exciting times, I think, to be alive, um, where we can actively make a difference. Does anyone have any questions for us? Oh, yes. How did your parents differentiate between you two when you were younger? Yeah, so that's a very good question. Do you think we look very similar? Do you guys think we yes look very similar? Yes or no? Very, very similar. Very, very similar. I think if you can see, we have different uh, face shapes. So my face is more oval and Elizabeth's shape is a bit more, more square. More square. Yeah. And I have a beauty mark right here. And that's probably, Maria doesn't have one. So that's also a good indication. Are you guys rich? <laughs> very rich. We are very we are rich, rich in, in love. In love and happiness. Yeah, we have a really, really um, close family. It was so nice to talk with you all today. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys, you guys are awesome. Have a great day, guys. Okay, so we weren't quite prepared for the inquest into our personal finances. Nevertheless, we had a great time. Last one. What better way to cap it off than with a selfie? Next up in part of the process, we're heading to the mill, the lab, and of course, we patiently await our Viscos Rayon design. 